all deck profile, but it really would have just been dogmatic invoked. We could have made an invoked shut all deck profile, but we would have wound up playing Dogmatica cards, and we could have made a shut all Dogmatica deck, but we would have just been winding up playing Invoked. I'm not saying that Invoked Dogmatica Shut All is the superior route. I'm saying that with the last video in mind, the budget video that we just made, I probably should be a little more mindful of players on a budget. In actuality, I wanna say that I was being so mindful, I even asked you guys which one of the strategies from the top five budget decks did you wanna do? And um, I wasn't expecting Shut All to win even though I should have expected shit all to win. But no worries, I do plan on giving you a Goki deck profile. Just go ahead and do that like button thing. Let's see if we can get to this video to a thousand likes. I want that like button destroyed if y'all want me to do another one of these. There's a reason why I'm drinking coffee. This shut all deck was not easy to do. The particular goal of this shadow all deck is to make a competitive pure version on a budget. I think we did a really good job with those restrictions. This deck is about $150 if you go on the low for everything, but of course I'm going to be showing you some blinked out cards. The main board consists of three copies of Rest Shit All Windy. This is the second Best Shit All Monster because it is a free special summon to your side of the field, whether it is flipped or sent to the graveyard. Three copies of Shit All Skomata. This is the best because it searches quote unquote all of your Shit All Monsters. They all want to be sent to the graveyard by a card effect, and Skomata fulfills that requirement two copies of Shadow Hedgehog. Hedgehog is actually really good. Um, in this particular build, you can get away with playing three because it does help you extend for full combo when you have the correct cards. One copy of Beast. This is really the Shadow monster that you special summon or you send to the graveyard when you've used all your other Shadow monster effects. Chaos is a straight brick for the deck. I mean, it's not really a brick, but it is a Shadow monster that's a light, which comes up in a portion of our combos uh, when we have those awkward hands. And one copy of Nell Shadow Ariel, another card that you don't necessarily want to draw, but is still really good if you haven't invested your normal summon and is necessary for our full combo. That sums up our shut all monsters at about 11. Now we do run a engine different uh, from the Trick Clown engine. We actually run three copies of Trick Star Candina. This card, in my opinion, is superior to the Trick Clown engine, where Trick Clown is really good when your opponent has a special summon monster and you just shut off fusion, get a construct and a free monster. Candina is probably superior in any other way. First of all, your opponent has to respect Candina because we do play Trick Star Coral Bane and Coral Bane can make uh, Candina double its attack, which is a, just a little bit stronger than Dragoon's initial attack. And secondly, uh, Trickstar Candina, it's immediately two monsters on the field in case you need to go into a side frame Lord Lambda for when you know your opponent has some of those critical negations. Uh, Trickstar Candina is just way more versatile. Before Mage Trick Clown was used as a two monster clause, Candina fulfills that clause by giving you a free search and also another monster that gives you just so much versatility. The fact that it's light just adds on to it. Um, our other normal summon is Geldalgra. Now, players run Mathematician in place of Geldalgra or don't even think about Geldalgra when it comes to normal summon starters, and that's fair. But the difference between Mathematician and Geldalgra is that Mathematician cannot search your Shut All Fusion, Geldalgra can. Now, granted, it does cost you 3,000 life points to be able to do it, but sometimes you're in those positions where you have a really bad hand and Geldalgra immediately fixes your bad hand into full combo. I'll show you in the combo sequence. That is it for the starter cards. Uh, all of them are really good. I'm really loving Trickstar Candina. It's uh, again, it's just so versatile. But for the hand traps, three copies of Cyframe Gamma, and then of course that driver and two copies of Effect Veiler. This was three copies of Effect Veiler, but I have to drop one so I can play Shut All Chaos. But I'm telling you, Chaos is Chaos, Chaos, however you say it, it's just it's worth it. It's worth that slot. Uh, lastly, we do play the Red Eyes Dragoon Engine. Um, we do have budget options for the Red Eyes Dragoon Engine, but there is something that I really want to make you guys aware of. Shadows have always had a running mate. Like, Winda has never really been by herself. When the Shadow strategy was first deduced, introduced, it was Winda plus Caius the Shadow Monarch. People don't remember that we were using the Monarch Storm Forth to tribute our opponent's monsters to make Caius the Shadow Monarch to get over problematic threats. Fast 
Ford, it was Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and even in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Shit All Winda still needs a running mate. Whether it is that Invoked Bekaba or that Dogmatical Flordelis, you're going to need a monster to supplement with your Shit All Winda. She works best as a couple and not as a single lady. She, she ain't Beyonce. The Dragoon package does make the shutoff strategy a little more expensive. It's actually about half of the deck's cost, but again, Shutoff Winda does need a running mate. You can't just expect to summon Shutoff Winda on the side of the field and win games. So we do run that Dark Magician and Red Eyes, three copies of Shutoff Fusion, three copies of El Shutoff Fusion. Lastly is a Red Eyes Fusion, Trickstar Light Stage, Foolish Burial, Polymerization, and of course, Call by the Grave. Um, so Cyframe Gear Gamma is used used for called by the grave uh, as our substitute some players were wondering what exactly do you do in place of uh, you know your call by the grave being uh, you know being limited to one um, there really isn't a substitute for call by the grave uh, triple tactics talent is a terrible like replacement because it doesn't necessarily stop it gamma is the best card and seeing that we do have lambda in this meta making lambda and then going through with your combo is going to be the best bet and then of course there's your call by the grave super polymerization is also nutty against dragoon boards or pretty much against a lot of boards in this meta especially when you're playing shut all we finish off with the traps with three copies of infinite impermanence one shut all schism and one shut all rest carnation uh rest carnation is for combo i will show you in schism schism is amazing out of rise of the duelist this card is the reason why shut all can compete why you can get wind of dragoon with an ip mascarena to be able to link into some other cards possibly even a four disruption apollosa so this card is really important to the strategy I'm going to blaze through the extra deck and so I can get you guys into the combo. For the extra deck, one or two copies of Construct, two copies of App Cologne. Uh, you run multiple copies of App Cologne because obviously Geldogra can send the first one and you can actually summon the second one on your opponent's turn. Uh, two copies of Winda, one copy of Dragoon. We will give you a budget option. Uh, one copy of Starving Venom. One Cyframe Lord Omega. This card is normally Axis Code Talker, but obviously I'm on a budget, so Cyframe Lord Omega is going to have to do. This is a free slot. Use it for whatever you want. Apollosa, Nightmare Unicorn, Lambda. This card is a card you guys should buy before it skyrockets in price. You're going to hear it in this video before I put it in the regular video. Uh, so yeah, congratulations if you decided to watch uh, other videos that aren't buy these cards. This is a card you need to have. Uh, one IP Mascarina, Predipat Vert, Anaconda, and one Gravity Controller. Now for the budget option, some players obviously can't afford the Dragoon Package and the Predipat Vert Anaconda. To be honest, this is about $70. This is half of the deck's entire price. So we're going to take out the Omega, the Predipat, and the Dragoon. And what you guys can play is Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avermax, Cross Sheet, and a Shadow Construct. Um, I'll be able to show you guys the combo uh, for this for you budget players. It's still a pretty dope combo that gets you I'm into some pretty good plays. Okay, guys, so this deck does require a three card combo, but the combo is actually so versatile. You can get it, achieve it in so many different ways. Uh, the first card you are going to need is a way to fuse, whether it's polymerization to invocation, L Shadow Fusion, or Shadow of Fusion. Uh, you are just going to need any fusion card. The next thing you are going to need um, is Trickstar Candina, but this can also be Performage Trick Clown if you want to stay on that route. And then the last card you are going to need is Shut All Squamato or Rest Shut All Windy. So there are a ton of ways to perform this combo and this deck pretty much does it. It does it fairly well to have uh, some combination of those cards in your hand. Um, and before you guys start asking, this is an Amanda La Palm mat. Um, <laughs> I'm not sponsored by uh, Meta Mats or whatever, but I just wanted to tell you before you guys flood the comments, where is this from? I think it's a pretty decent mat. Uh, obviously, I'm using it for the Shadow Deck profile, so uh, you know, it is kind of cool um the first thing i am going to do is normal summon trickstar candina and candina's effect will add trickstar coral bane for my deck to my hand if you have trick clown obviously you can't do this actually you don't add the coral bane you activate the light stage and light stage activates coral adds coral bane so it does give you an additional disruption of being able to check your opponent's back row uh you know make sure they can't activate that card for the turn as well as giving you that light monster that you need the next thing, the next thing I am going to do is activate that El Shadal Fusion. I'm going to fuse my Trickstar Coral Bane and my Shadal Squamata into my El Shadal Construct in the Extra Monster Zone. Now, I want you guys to get used to summoning Construct in the Extra Monster Zone because there's a lot of times where you just might have to link it off into a Gravity Controller 
uh, to be able to gain Construct's effect. So again, I want you to get used to that. Use the effect of Squamata and Construct. Uh, Construct will send a Reshidal Incarnation and Squamata will send the Reshidal Wendy. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, but the effect of Wendy will be able to special summon a Nail Shadal Ariel. And now we're going to continue off with our Link Summon. Typically, you would use Construct and Candina uh, to be able to summon Cross Sheep to our side of the field. But in this particular combo, you do not need Cross Sheep. It's just not a great card for us because we're going to immediately go into our IP Masquerina. Now, it will trigger the effect of our Construct. We're going to add our El Shadal Fusion back into our hand, which is really important because it makes this combo entirely self-contained. The next thing I'm going to do is use my Rest Shadal Incarnation. I'm going to banish my Construct in my Incarnation. I'm going to place this right here. Uh, simplifying my banish and then I'm going to flip up my Nel Shadal Ariel. Now that's going to trigger Ariel to be able to special summon El Shadal Construct to my side of the field and Construct's effect will activate again to be able to send a card from my deck to my graveyard. This particular card I'm going to send is Shadal Schism and now I'll use both the Nel Shadal Ariel and the Construct for our last Link Summon, we are going to summon Predaplant Vert Anaconda. Now, the effect of Construct will trigger yet again. It is not once per turn. Every time it's special summoned and every time it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a Shadow Spell or Trap card from your graveyard to your hand. Not 100% sure who made that, but I'm not really against it at this point in time. So right now, with three cards, we have an IP Mask, Raider, Predaplant Vert, Anaconda, Trickstar, Light Stage, and two cards in hand. So I want to say that it was a pretty good investment. You'll use Vert Anaconda for Red Eyes Fusion to send the Dark Magician and the Red Eyes B Dragon to be able to special summon our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. And right now, we are in the perfect situation. Reason why is because we do have a way to disrupt. I can use Shadow Schism to banish Shadow Monsters with different attributes. So the Windy and the Squamata, go ahead and put those right there, to summon App Cologne to my side of the field, which will also allow me to send to the graveyard with the same attribute. Keep in mind, it doesn't target, it doesn't destroy, so this could get rid of a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, and the effect of App Cologne can negate a face-up card on the side of the field. I also have Red Eyes Dark Dragoon to be able to discard that Shadow Fusion that we added from, to our hand through the effect of Construct, and we still have IP Mascarena, which can link off any number of these cards. It can link off this for a two negation Apollosa, or if we wanted to go balls to the wall, we can link all four into a four disruption Apollosa Bow of the Goddess. Let me actually use this dice. This dice is actually terrible for rolling, but it looks pretty good for like art. So we're gonna use the effect of App Cologne, which will add the uh, Rest Shadal Windy, and she'll get discarded to be able to special summon a Shadal Beast. So with three cards, four disruption Apollosha, Shadow Schism, which gives you an App Cologne to be able to disrupt again, a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, that is six disruptions all off of three cards. Shadows are still really strong in this map. Now, of course, as you guys know, I'm so mean with it. We can take this exact same script and do a whole nother scheme with it so i'm gonna go ahead and put the ip boom 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 and these are back into my graveyard we can actually just use schism's effect to banish a red eyes and a Shadal Squamata, and our opponent is going to have to deal with the el Shadal window if they are a special summon heavy deck and in this particular situation, we can still use the effect of IP Mascarena to link off all or as many cards as we want to to be able to summon that Apollosa Bull of the Goddess or that Nightmare Unicorn, uh, mainly because Shadow Windows effect is applied once it's summoned, so you get an additional special summon after you summon El Shadal Window. So the Shadal strategy is the king of bricks, and there are so many times where you draw just hands like this, and then you'll get like, uh, infinite impermanence and then like a ciphering gear gamma this is literally an unplayable hand or is it if you had a mathematician as opposed to a geldogra this would probably be summon mathematician and hope your trap cards can set up for you but with geldogra this is actually a full combo type hand what you're going to do is normal summon geldogra and use this effect to pay 3,000 life points we're going to send the shadow app cologne from the deck to the graveyard and without cologne's effect we will add the shadow fusion and discard the shadow hedgehog hedgehog's effect will now trigger that would allow us to add Shadow Shadow Chaos from our decks to our hand. And now you guys are starting to see where we have full combo. You can activate El Shadow Fuse, infusing both the Shadow Squamata and the Chaos right into your El Shadow Construct. 
Construct's effect will activate to be able to send the Reshidal Incarnation, and Squamata will send Reshidal Windy. Special summon Nell Shadal Ariel and then use Construct and Geldagra for a link. IP Masquerina is going to be the card of choice. Now Construct Banish and the Incarnation to flip up the Nell Shadal. Special summon the Nell Shadal and you guys are seeing it. The effect of Construct will send the Shadal Schism, both these monsters for a link into our Predaplan Vert and Construct's effect back to add the Shadal Schism into our hand. So our board will look particularly like this. It's going to be a red eyes dragoon a bread plant vert anaconda uh the two brick disruptions that we'd have to hope which are pretty decent disruptions right now maybe not the gamble but definitely in permanence and of course the shut all schism to be able to give even more disruption so the last combo I am going to show you is the budget combo. Uh, if you guys can't afford Red Eyes Dark Dragoon or uh, probably are sick and tired of seeing Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in a build, this deck does have an alternative option to Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Just go back to where I was doing the deck profile and you can see those budget options. Now you get to see them in action. This time around, I'm going to go about the normal combo. So uh, let's actually... All right, so you guys have pretty much seen this combo so many times. Uh, basically, I'm going to make the Shut All Construct and the Candina, as you already seen, and of course the Aerial Phase Down. So this time around, we actually will link the Construct and the Candina right into our Cross Sheep, and then we'll use Rest Shut All Incarnation, banishing the Construct and the Inshallah All Incarnation to flip the nail to special summon the construct to where con or to cross sheet points to. We'll trigger the effect of cross sheet to be able to special summon Squamata. Link summon into our shuttle construct. And I almost forgot to use the effect of our shuttle construct when it was special summon to Shin shuttle schism. So from here, we're gonna use the effect of our shuttle construct to fuse with our L shuttle construct to be able to summon another construct to the side of the field. We'll trigger both our L shuttle constructs effect to add a Shadal Schism and also to send an El Shadal Fusion. I, I, I actually forgot to get this into my hand from the first construct that I linked off into Cross Sheep. Don't tell nobody. And now we can finish off by linking off the Cross Sheep and the Construct into a Mechanite Crusadia Avermax, or we can link off all of these bad puppies into a three disruption Apollosa Bow of the Goddess. So the effect of Construct will trigger again, allowing us to add an El Shadal Fusion or a Shadal Fusion. If our opponent still has monsters, uh, especially from the extra deck or who went second, then Shadal Fusion would probably get us into a deeper combo. But here's the thing, we do have a three disruption Apollosa. We also have a Shadow Schism that can get us access into an El Shadow Winda, which again is that perfect teammate tandem that we've been talking about. And if we add an additional Shadow Monster, we could use the effect of Shadow Fusion to fuse our El Shadow Winda and an additional appropriate card to summon whatever we wanted to the side of the field. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to see that budget Goki deck profile, go ahead and destroy that like button button get this video to a thousand likes that's like 1000 likes is all we're asking for and if we get over that a thousand don't stop now you know keep going you know get higher also be sure to check out these other videos as i'll catch you on the next one